I'm from 96.4 Eagle Radio based in Guildford and today what we're doing is we're helping Westfield's junior school set up and uh, launch their, their radio station here. So we've been doing some work with them over the last few months, um, recording some jingles, getting some um, sweepers and bits and bobs of audio for them to start making their podcasts and bits and bobs for their, uh, for their broadcasts. Now it's quite unusual to have a school doing a radio station as you can see here there's all this kit that uh, actually goes out which you're setting up for the podcasts and all these wonderful microphones can you tell us a bit about your organization how, how it works with schools yeah sure well eagle radio is part of the ukrd group so we're a, um, a large station and we uh, UKRD actually owns 12 or 13 stations across the country. We actually have a wing um, at Eagle called CCE, which is Corporate Community and Education. And we basically work with lots of schools in the area, um, building relationships and making things like school radio stations, inviting them in to record podcasts, um, doing lots of sort of media, sociology, lots of different courses with them and incorporating the radio side of things with it. So it's a, just a little bit of a different way of learning. So, for example, some of the children that might struggle with writing essays or um, have problems with speech, things like that, or dyslexia, we can come in and we can actually get them to record things. So they might have an essay they need to write, they can come in and record something. Or if they're studying GCSE French and they want a revision CD, they can come in, record a podcast so that they've got their own revision work. So we do all sorts of different things in different areas. I mean, it's quite unusual for me, though, to see it in a primary school. Do you do it in many primary schools? We, this is the first primary school that we've really worked with, actually. We tend to work with the older ones just because there's a uh, movement for development with GCSE and A-level students and those that are looking to get into the media side of things. So this is a really good way of developing them from an early age so for these little ones some of them aren't very confident at speaking um, some of them aren't very good at uh, the writing side of things so it's all just a way of getting them to open up speaking in in a public space learning how to do those sort of interview techniques and little things like that so it's really quite sweet <laughs> Yeah, I mean, part of what I'm trying to do with um, sort of social media for schools is look at multi-partnerships within schools, even primary schools, where you've got a way in for um, the community to connect up with uh, local businesses and do exactly what you're talking about, training, opportunities for jobs, uh, actually giving people the sort of skill set to be able to be function in society. What I mean, are you finding that, that you have got some sort of uh, connections with people and you find out the talent out there and things? That, that come up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially with the young people that we work with, we've got a, a listenership of about 150,000 weekly listeners. So all of the young people that we work with in schools, more than likely that their parents already listen to Eagle and know who we are. So it's kind of building it up through the generations. But so many of the, the young kids different everything has really changed whereas before maybe they wanted to be a, a scientist or a teacher now kids are going to wanting to be more and more involved with media and things that they see on tv and stuff like that so it's just kind of coaching them but in the right direction and using those skills to a little bit something a bit more creative and actually has got a purpose to it so have you found that, that, that the radio station is getting in any way involved in training or qualifications or any of that side of things? Uh, yeah, at Eagle Radio we run quite a few courses. We're actually here with the ACM today. Um, we run um, an accredited uh, higher diploma course with the ACM in radio broadcasting. So Can I just ask you what the AC ACM is? Um, it's the Academy of Contemporary Music and they're based in Guildford as well. Um, so we run, run in conjunction with them and we, we run a radio broadcasting programme. So yeah, we do everything from a Radio Rocks programme which is starts with the 13 year olds up to the higher diploma which is sort of over 18 so wonderful and, and what are you exactly going to be doing here today what's the main thing Today, uh, we've had a bit of excitement in the playground this morning. We've had our mascot, Egbert the Eagle, down uh, meeting, greeting all of the, the young people. Um, the school are currently coming in in groups of, we've got four groups throughout the day. Uh, they're learning a song called The Flood by Take That, and they're all learning a little bit each. And this afternoon, they're going to be putting it together as one big recording. So we're here to get that recording, get it sounding really lovely, and it will be used in their future productions for their, uh, for their radio station. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh,